This number doesn't exist. It represents nothing. And without it, the device you're watching this on would never have been built. Zero wasn't always a number. For thousands of years, humans counted without it. The Romans built an empire. The Greeks invented philosophy. But neither culture could multiply, 47, by zero. They had no symbol for absence. The Babylonians used a placeholder around 300 BCE, two wedges meaning empty space. But it wasn't a number you could calculate with. Then in 628 CE, an Indian mathematician named Brahmagupta did something that changed everything. He wrote the rules. Zero plus three equals three. Five minus five equals zero. Zero times anything equals zero. For the first time, nothingness became something you can manipulate. Here's what breaks without zero. Your phone runs on binary code, ones and zeros. Every app, every text, every pixel on your screen exists because transistors flip between on and off. Without zero, there's no off. No binary, no digital age. Computers can't exist. Mathematics collapses. You can't do calculus without zero as a limit. You can't do algebra without solving for x equals zero. Physics, gone. Einstein's equations require zero for space-time. Engineering, impossible. You can't measure sea level, freezing point, or coordinate systems without a zero point. But here's the controversy nobody talks about. Western Europe resisted zero for centuries. The Catholic Church called it demonic. How could nothing be something? Merchants banned it because it made fraud easier to hide. When Italian mathematician Fibonacci brought zero from the Arab world in 1202, he was ridiculed. It took 300 years for Europe to accept what India had figured out 600 years earlier. The real reason zero matters isn't math, it's philosophy. Humans struggled with nothingness. If nothing exists, what does that mean for existence itself? Ancient India embraced it because their philosophy already had shunya, the void. Buddhism taught emptiness as enlightenment. That cultural foundation let them see zero not as absence, but as infinite potential. We think numbers are universal, but zero proves ideas need the right culture to survive.